Disney Frozen, Elsa's Gift. Snow fell quietly on the kingdom of Arendelle. The town was blanketed in white. Snowflakes tickled children's noses and melted on their tongues. The people of Arendelle plodded through deep, powdery snowdrifts as they hurried through the streets. Everyone welcomed the snow. For this time, it was not Queen Elsa's doing. It was winter. Inside the castle, Queen Elsa and Princess Anna watched their subjects bustle to and fro. Everyone was preparing for the winter ball. Elsa was throwing that evening. Elsa smiled. For the first time since she was a child, the kingdom's gates were open. Elsa's ice magic was finally under control. And most important, she and her sister were friends again. Anna grabbed Elsa's arm and dragged her away from the window. Come on, she said. We have so much to do to get ready for the ball. Elsa chuckled and let herself be pulled. Anna was right. There was a lot to do. Anna and Elsa had been hard at work for days. The castle glittered with Elsa's frosty magic. But there was still some finishing touches to add. While Elsa finished icing the banquet room, Anna raced to the kitchens. There, she said, coming back into the room with a tray full of crumb cake. The dessert table is ready. What do you think, Elsa? But Elsa wasn't paying attention. She was thinking about the ball. Earth to Elsa, Anna called. Elsa looked at her sister and smiled. Anna's act of love had saved Arendelle and Elsa. Elsa wished she could do something special for Anna. Something to show everyone how much she loved her sister. Looking around the banquet room, Elsa had an idea. I, um, I have to go, she told Anna and raced out the door. Kristoff, Elsa called as she spotted her sister's friend crossing the castle courtyard. I need your help. Elsa explained her plan to create the perfect gift for Anna. I thought you and I could make an ice sculpture for her, she said. But Elsa had more plan. While Kristoff went to get a block of ice, Elsa locked herself in the kitchen. Elsa, Anna called. She knocked on the door. Are you in there? Don't come in, Elsa said. It's a surprise. Inside the kitchen, Elsa and Olaf were making cookies. You know, Elsa said to the snowman, I'm not sure you should go anywhere near an oven. Psh, Olaf said, waving his twiggy arms. What could possibly go wrong? So... Olaf and Elsa got to work making Anna's favorite, extra gingery gingerbread man. The cookies turned out perfectly, and Elsa only had to refreeze Olaf seven times. Elsa, Anna said, knocking on the door again. It smells great in there. Can I help? Nope, Elsa called back. I'll see you later. Just uh, go to your room. When Elsa was sure Anna was gone, she tiptoed into her bedroom. Elsa's closet was overflowing with crinkled she had collected for her sister over the year years. Gathering them in her arms, she brought the presents to the banquet room. 
Elsa was arranging the gifts for her sister when Christopher arrived with a giant block of ice. Elsa wasted no time. Soon, she had created a beautiful sculpture of Anna. Elsa paused for a moment to admire her handiwork. Everything looked beautiful, but it still wasn't perfect. Where's Anna? Kristoff asked. I haven't seen her for a while. Oh, Elsa said. I told her to stay in her room so the surprise wouldn't be ruined. Hmm, Kristoff said with a frown. You know, Elsa, I think what Anna would really like is... Some punch, Elsa finished his sentence for him. You're right, she said, and raced out of the room. I was going to say, to spend time with her big sister, Kristoff said to the empty room. Elsa was stirring a big bowl of punch when Anna walked into the kitchen. What are you doing outside your room? Elsa asked. It's boring in there, Anna said, and lonely. I'd rather hang out with you. But you'll ruin your surprise, Elsa said. Anna rolled her eyes. I have a surprise for you too, she said. Walking out of the kitchen, follow me. Elsa followed Anna outside to a snowy courtyard, but Anna had disappeared. Anna, where are you? Elsa called. I don't have time for this. There's still a million things I need to... Splat! A snowball hit Elsa right in the face. Surprise! Anna yelled. W what? Elsa sputtered, brushing the snow off her face. Did you just... Anna giggled. It's a snowball intervention, Elsa, she said dramatically. Since you don't have any time for me, I'm declaring war. Elsa started to grin. Anna, she said, I think you're forgetting which one of us has the magical ice powers. She made a huge snowball and hurled it at Anna. The snowball fight went on and on, until at last Elsa called a truce. It was time for the sisters to go get ready for the ball. Elsa glanced shyly at Anna, then Hurling one final snowball at her unsuspecting sister, she raced inside. Gotcha, she called over her shoulder. That night, the sisters greeted their guests. As Anna looked around the banquet room, she noticed Elsa's cookies and punch and her beautiful sculpture. You did this for me, she said. Elsa nodded. I wanted to give you a perfect gift, she said. It's all lovely, Anna said. And it was very sweet of you. But for me, the best present ever is just being with you. For me too, Elsa said. And linking arms, the sisters went off to enjoy their party. Together.